Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today, as you'll notice, we're not actually playing a train simulator today. Today we're playing something quite different called Rail Route. Now, if you've never heard of this game, let me explain. Rail Route is a pretty new game. Uh, I think it's been out for a little while now and I've seen a few trailers sort of here, there and everywhere on it. Um, but basically the whole premise of this game is, if you know what SimSig is, you'll already have an idea of sort of what it is. Basically, You've got a map, and you've got to sort of direct trains um, on it. Um, now, the difference between this and SimSig, firstly, is the fact that this isn't based on real um, real maps. Uh, I mean, there are a few sort of uh, maps in here which are based off of... Um, well, I think they're all based off of um, real places. Um, maybe these ones are... These ones, the timetable maps down the bottom might actually be real places. But anyway... Um, Yes, so they sort of some of them are based off real places. Um, they're sort of uh, they're fictitious, so the, you know you're not going to find the West Coast Main Line or anything crazy like that on it, sort of thing. Um, it's just um, it's just sort of go with the flow and all that kind of stuff. Anywho, um, so yeah, basically uh, it's a strategy game. So what you got to do? You got to sort of build build your map around you and, uh, and direct trains, and it will become more obvious how you play it exactly um, when we sort of jump into it. I'm gonna do Berlin on the fact that I would do Glasgow, but I've already uh, I've already started the game on that, so I don't want to mess that up. So we're gonna play Berlin uh, for the sake of uh, the video. Uh, the game is actually pretty cheap. Uh, I think it was 11.99 around that price. So honestly, it's worth every penny if you've got if you've got that money definitely get this game but yeah let's let's jump straight into it and uh obviously you can make your mo own minds up but p personally i love this game once it's loaded right okay uh i'll go might as well go for the hints welcome it's up to you up to you now grow your railway uh empire from scratch build build the traffic by accepting contracts don't worry we have already accepted a few to provide you with the easiest star contracts will provide you with traffic accept them wisely and form your traffic with them when you feel comfortable, buy new platforms, expand news to new stations, and accept contracts there. Decline contracts you don't want to run, it's part of the game. Continue. So, you see, we've got three stations so far. This one's obviously flashing. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on that, and then this lets you choose which platform to spawn the train at. Now, it's recommending I spawn it at three. Um, because for some reason this route uh, reckons it should be at 3. So I'm going to spawn it at 3. Uh, and there are implications if you don't spawn it at uh, the correct platform. There, you do get penalised for it. Um, the game's very slow moving. Um, at first. Uh, oh, sorry. I, I'll put them back to how it was. Yeah. So you'll notice this train isn't moving very fast. Um, pretty much uh it's it's got like a big a big scale to the map i think so but it's, it's fine um later on it becomes very apparent why it's so slow and it becomes very useful as well right so the train's now stopped at the station i'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce these names so um i know i'll only roast the german accent anywho uh the train stopped at the station it's picking up its passengers you see we've got one minute left until the uh until the train uh leaves and obviously this is done in like so this is eight o'clock um i've been finding that times 15 speed is pretty manageable but for the first few sort of few seconds while i'm explaining how to play the game i won't uh i won't touch the speed so what i've got to do i've got a timetable at the bottom you see that this train is starting at this one it wants to go up to here and then come back into platform two at this station so what i'll do change the point there change the point there you simply change it by clicking on them set the green light by clicking that as well you see now the route is less up all the way to uh to this second station so i'll speed up the time now i think and you'll notice that the train moves along quite nicely so we know that as there's not many trains at the moment theoretically this train should be the next one over this track so what i'll do click that click that thing right uh, to change the point. I'll, pull, I'll slow the game down as well. So the train's now sitting at this station. Waiting to go back. What you've got to do. The train won't automatically flip directions. You have to right click on the train. And you'll notice the headlight is now pointing in the other direction. Click on the signal again. Set your route up. And off you go. Simple as. No 
real sort of uh, difficult concepts to grasp at this point of the game. Nice and easy. Now, you'll notice that the map is significantly bigger than what we have here. And there's another train coming. So, uh, that's something about contracts. I'll go through them in a second. Let me click play. So, let's spawn the, uh, the train. Now, this is a freight train. And you can tell because it wants to go up here. So, it's got a different route. So, I'm going to set the points and do that. Also, it's got FR, which indicates it's a freight train. So, clearly, it's not going to stop at any of the stations. COM... Uh, with the numbers. Basically means commuter train. Uh, so that's what you're looking for there. There's your indicators as to what type of train you're you're managing at any moment in time. So. You'll notice that this train will disappear. Once the train's disappeared. There should be a bit of a gap in the service. Not a lot going on. What we can do. If I bring the train to the speed to normal time. Go up to contracts. Now, these are our contracts that we can accept. Um, we know we have the capacity to take any contract that clicks a, that, that has accept um, sort of uh, highlighted. For example, this one, you can't go accept because we don't have one of the stations uh, involved in the route. And I think it's Berlin. Berlin, I think we're missing. But we do have um, these two. So this is a nice easy one. Let's take that. So you'll notice the train spawn there. Spawn that at platform three. Now this is an intercity train indicated by IC. Set the route to green so that it can go. Speed up time. You'll notice that the train will now make its way down to the station. Now, let's port, slow the game down again. You see we've got another train. Click that. Train will now spawn. Change that point. Change that point. We finished the contract, which means we get a uh, sort of all rundown of it. Your performance: uh, thirty-one percent. Mandatory five trains. Repeat every sixty seconds. So there we go. So you've got to have at least five trains running before you can cancel the contract. I'm guessing. Um, and then repeat every sixty minutes. Uh, so yeah, sixty minutes, not seconds. So yeah. In a net, when that says. What, what was it? About 8, 8 16, I think we um we bought the train in. We accepted the contract. Um, you'll obviously notice that the train will come back. Right click that, change the route. Change the direction that that's travelling in. Right. What we can also do, you'll notice we've got points up here. And obviously as each train has, uh, has been going through, you'll notice we've been acquiring points. Um... What we can do with the points, of course, is first accept the train. Uh, that's a freight train, so that wants to go up there. There we go. What we can do, we can build more track. Signals, stations, all sorts. So, I'll click on this bit. This shows you all of the track which you're able to build. If you're not able to build some of the track, uh, sort of say... So you've got your, your, the amount of money you need. Say you've only got 8,000. It will be, uh, you'll be able to select up to here. Beyond that point, then all of these will sort of just look like this. You'll, they'll just have squares and uh, X's and you won't be able to build any of them. Anywho, I'm going to build that track straight to there. I imagine that bit of track will be useful later. I'm going to build a crossover there. Also, I'll put a signal there, a signal there. Now you notice this signal's the wrong way around. You can click it and it reverses it. These signals and stuff will obviously become uh, quite important later. Um, don't worry about trains going the wrong way through signals because they ignore it. You can have bi-directional running. Um, anywho, we know for now we don't have this platform 4. So we can leave that, that junction set to platform 3. There's no train in platform 3. Nothing can spawn in platform 3. You see there's no dot 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 which indicates it can spawn. So we can leave that signal as it is. Now the next train is most likely going to be a commuter service, which it is indeed. Spawn that, set the signal to green. We'll change that track, them two to straight. Set that signal. Now that's on the move, let's think about accepting another contract. Here you go, up to 5,000 points. Let's accept that contract. Spawn you in three, set your route, and there we go. 
So now while that's on the move, set that route up. They'll pass each other. And then we've got another contracted train on the run. Now, you've got to be careful how you accept contracts. Because every time you accept a contract, you'll be, uh, you'll have them, uh, that train, uh, to run every time. So, you mustn't forget, obviously, that, uh, when you accept a contract, you need to make sure that you've got enough time, um, to be able to run each train. If you if you don't have enough time to run each train, uh, you could end up with a situation where trains are being delayed. Now, when trains are delayed, that causes you issues, because obviously you've, um, we should get the uh, pop up, there we go. Performance, cool. So yeah, uh, when a train is delayed, uh, you lose points. Uh, I think for, uh, I think, I'm not sure how many points you lose for each, each minute it's delayed, but you do lose points, so you want to be able to, um, make sure you've got enough time, uh, to see each contract through before, um, before something else comes along. There we go. Nice. And like I say, it's basically just a management game. So you've got to uh, keep your railway running nicely. Uh, I'm going to accept another contract, shall we? That goes from up there down to there. That's quite a good one. Okay, I'm not going to accept the contract just yet. Uh, let's go on to another point, of the, another part of the game, once we've sorted this train out. That'll be a freight train, so that will want to go around there. Nicely done. And I'm going to go into the upgrades, uh, market. Now, if you go into, uh, system upgrades, that's the one. Uh, the, you can basically use, you spend these, um, these points here, you get for, like, accepting contracts and stuff. Um... See, so recurrent contracts. Every time you complete a contracted uh, job that you've added, you'll get um, you'll get one of them points um, each time. We want to try and find out how to build underpasses, tunnels, and all that kind of stuff. I think uh, none of that's any use to us at the moment. Controls, dispatcher, stations. Wait to reverse, advanced tracks, corridor tracks, tunnels. So, okay, so we're a long way from doing tunnels. Um, basic tracks, we can build more higher speed tracks, but you see we need one of these red points as well. Uh, auto blocks, we don't, really, we don't really need any of this at the moment, uh, to be honest. Not right now. Uh, let's quickly... Okay, there we go. I think it was in the game running. Right, so what I want to do... I want to bring a... Oh, yes, you can't build a train, build a track while there's a train on it. So, I want to bring that off of there. And I'm going to build a crossover like that. Uh, basically, what that means we can do now is we can accept this interesting contract we've got here. Uh, that one. Spawn that in. Set that point to do that. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's not too much of a problem. Um, there's a train wanting to come from here. Is that one of the freight trains? Yes, that will be one of the freight trains. And there we go. Now this might go. This might go well. This may also go horribly wrong. We, uh, only time will tell on that front as to uh, to which of them uh, options are going to be the one that wins, sort of thing. You know, if you can't manage the trains, um, then you lose the game. And obviously there's the chance that... See, look, there we go. We've got a huge delay from that one. So maybe we did mess up there by accepting that contract at the time we did. Because now every time this train spawns in, theoretically, it's going to delay that freight train. So we may want to consider cancelling one of the contracts eventually. There we go. We have that complete. That's a freight contract. So that wants to go up there. There we go. Again, theoretically, we could have we could uh, try and be more efficient, and we could have a train up here as well um, at the moment. I won't accept one now because most likely there'll be a train spawn in in a second. I imagine. Although actually, look, we've actually can, you can you can see the timetable. That's quite useful actually because you can see where everything's going and where everything wants to spawn in. And actually, it tells you when its arrival is due as well. So, I've not, I've not really used, um, 
half of this feature. But you can see there are tools in, in this that sort of tell you. The timetabling tools, for example. Um, they could be really useful to you. There we go. Turn that round. Right. New, another train. Nuva train. Yes, a Nuva train. Right. Set that to there. There we go. And obviously... You can, uh, you can sort of set routes wrong, um, I mean, you don't want to set routes wrong, but if you set, if, say, the train was there, and it wants to go up, up to, uh, the end here, um, like so, right, so yeah, say I sent that train up to this, up to, uh, this station up here, um, by pure accident, um, what you'd end up with is having to flip the train back and then set the route correctly to reverse it. Uh, you can't you can't flip a route while a train is in motion, uh, so you've got to bear that in mind. The train has to be stopped in order to uh, to flip it round. There we go. Nice. Uh, we got one got one spawning in a second. There we go. And that's doing that again. When do we got our train spawning up here? Oh, we've got loads of time up there. So can we accept one from up there? We could accept that to be fair to be fair. If we accept that, stick it in three. Let's do that. Flip that round. And maybe we messed up. We might want to put a signal in there. Um which actually no, I'm not gonna do that yet because I can't. While the train's in motion. Um, do that. Do that. Let's grab the signal now. Put it in there. I'm going to put a signal on that bit of track, I reckon, when I can as well. I reckon that might be a good idea. That, however, is not a good idea to do that. There we go. So if I set a route like this, I'll, uh, I'll show you. I'll leave that route um, incorrect on purpose. And you'll see what happens. There you go. We have a, a minus run through, a, a minus 500 point run through. Also, don't send trains into the same block if there's not a signal between them, uh, because you do get deducted points for um, for tra for doing tra that with trains as well. Where else have we got then? We could go to Berlin theoretically. Oh look, we've got one one into spawn at both places. Uh, that can't spawn because of that train. So yeah, again. Uh, maybe we messed up by accepting that contract when we did. Um, I may have mistimed it slightly. Because now we're getting delays again. Right. There we go. Set that to go. Set that to go now. Set that to come back. Turn that round. Oh, I didn't set that point. That was a mistake. There we go. Do all that. Slowly but surely, if you concentrate well on uh, on what you're doing, you can end up with a, uh, a pretty efficient sort of service pattern. And I need a signal in there now, and I'll place my signal in there. Oops! You do get luckily if you sell equipment, I've noticed you do actually get the same amount uh, back which you bought it from. Uh, for sorry, so right, send that up there. That train will have to wait a second. Again, uh, this is where it sort of goes down here. Well, if you end up with too many delays, um, you may find that... Um, where's that going? Down there. That's going down there. Cool. You may find that you start losing points and uh, you, you end up with a non-recoverable situation. So, cancelling some trains uh, might be required at some point. It basically counted itself. I think we like we made like 200 points off of that contract or something. Flip that round. Fair that. There we go. Now there are a load of automation op um, options later on down the game, because uh, obviously if you've got an entire map, you can't be flicking around everywhere. So you can get um, get automation um, involved in it in the operation, just to help you along. 
sent up there, like uh, automatic train accepting, for example. You don't need to assign the uh, the train a, a platform; it just sort of does it itself. That's an option. Do that. Do that. Do not that. That. Right click if you set the signal wrong. Uh, that's how to uh, t d uh, deny the route. I think the next train out there might be that one. Possibly, it's hard to tell. Uh, looks like it though. What have we got? We've got another one spawning. Now. Set the route straight down there. We can set the route straight back at some point. Boink, boink. There we go. When's the next train spawning? We've got one in. On one. Okay, so that spawns at the same time. Is that the freight? That's the freight. We can set up the route for the freight. Actually, hang on. We can't set up the route for the freight because we have this arriving. There we go, there's your freight train spawned in that I said would. Cross that over there, set that track up there, set that track up there, set them back to straight. So that one, see that one, uh, actually worked perfectly. Uh, you can't ask for much more than that, to be honest. There we go. We now know we we're safe to set all that up. That was nicely done. This train, however, may get a bit stuck. May end up with a delay from the next one that spawns. Which isn't good. Get that one in, no point delaying that train. Hurry up, disappear please. I need to uh, complete 800, cool. Set, spawn that. See, maybe I ought to build another platform up there. That might be the, that might be the way to go for, uh, for that station. So that I can have a uh, train spawning. Uh, the, the game doesn't like it too much if you put trains in the wrong platform either. They are timetabled into specific platforms. Uh, oh, I turned it. I turned it around and then turned it back the wrong way. That was clever of me. Didn't even set the signal up. Uh, but of course, you sort of sometimes you end up losing less points routing a train into the wrong platform than you would if you uh, didn't even route the train at all. Sort of thing. Oh, see, look, there we go. I've messed up with that one. So what I'll do, I'll set that route up. That should just about fit in there. Flip that train round. And uh, now it will go up and reverse its way back up the top. Like so. Bit of a delay, obviously, because, um, because I sent it the wrong way. But... That's all right. Here we go. Nice. Flipping heck, was that 1,400 that I lost for that? That was a lot of points. Okay, so maybe one of them contracts is worth cancelling then. Because that looks quite destructive. You see how over time you might end up, um, you might end up with contracts which you can't uh, keep on because trains are getting in the way of each other. But like I say, what I might try and do, if I go into the shop, I'll buy the second platform, and then we can dedicate that platform to um, no, no money. Okay, so I can't do anything with that platform yet, but. Signal that, signal that, right, okay. Again, we're going to end up with uh, with wrong wrong route trains, but I would rather that in a way than, um, than all of that money that we're going to lose. And you can sort of uh, change the platforms which are assigned, I believe. Um, I believe you do that by sort of... I think I think the only way would be to restart the contract. To be honest, right? We've got plenty of um, plenty of points now. Let's pause the game. We'll go into the upgrades. Uh, One-time freight contracts. Upgrade that. We want some of them because these are what give us the red trains in city contracts. Automation. We don't really need any automation at the moment. 
Auto blocks. These are going to be useful. Auto blocks are basically uh, these bits of track here. And they sort of act as tunnels into um, into the next section almost. So if you want to build a track across there, you've got to be able to buy auto blocks um, in between in order to uh, to complete that part of the route. You probably put in a bit more track now, to be honest. Um, I'm going to do that. There we go. I may also want that. And don't, don't I, I do have my, I do have good thinking behind that. It, 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 the tracks, the tracks not quite formed in the in, in the positions I would ideally want it to, because ideally I'd want to have sort of a a single crossover. But you know, we need we need something for the. Uh, that should be the next train to spawn. I clicked on you. Let me spawn it, please. Thank you. So yeah, ideally we want to uh, we want to have these trains all due to spawn in in uh, in platform three now. I'm gonna put it in two, and uh, and you'll see what happens. So here we get um. We get a lot, a uh, lack of points, or we get negative points for it, because we've sent it in the uh, in the wrong platform. So set that up, set that to go. There we go, across there. Set that. No. Okay. 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 Um. Uh. Right. What we need to do? Uh. Just hope and pray. Okay. I left that too late. There you go, right. So, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to end that there. I hope that's given you a, um, a good sort of idea of the premise of this game. Honestly, it's such a challenge and I just love it. I, I really love it. It's great. Um, unfortunately, this, this commuter train didn't move fast enough um, to counter for the mistake of leaving that point um, set in the wrong position. So, you know... It's game over there. You could theoretically load a different save if you wanted to, but you know. Uh, anyway, I love this game. Uh, it, it's it's a challenge. You get stuff like that happen. You get you, you completely mess yourself up if you don't play it right. You can have a really good game going if you do play it right. You know, it's just, it's just so varied, and I love it. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this one, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye! Yeah.